Hey everyone, Zev here. Welcome to Attack on Titan Overview. Alright, there's a lot to cover. I mean, it's just, there's so many things going on that this might be the hottest topic of this year in terms of VR gaming. There seem to be quite a lot of reasons for that and we'll try to cover them. <laughs> So Attack on Titan is a reimagination of the cult classic in the anime series saga where as a member of the scout regiment you need to face off with the titans in the city, fly around the buildings and monsters using your ADM to fight for the survival of mankind and everything that's alive. We're kinda stepping away from the general rules of the overview simply because the devs decided to put a horrendous set of pre-rendered animations on the official which to me is completely unacceptable so as a special case I'm trying to search for something else. My own experience with this whole franchise is that I've watched the first season back in my anime days. It was at the time where it was just on top of every chart list in terms of the popularity rating and everything possible, instantly making it an iconic series that would be recognized all across the world. Now I remember where the side quest was still like a huge thing and I swear I saw a fan made game based on the same series and at the end I have no idea what have happened with that as well as I thought this is that but it seems like a second project that was in the development for quite a while at this point. Firstly, I mean, you can't deny it, the graphics are absolutely garbage, even in the days that we have pretty highly advanced technology for the standalone content at least. And even this capture that you see was made on PC side, so if it's even worse on standalone, oh my god, it's gonna be a tragedy. I'm trying to think what went wrong here and it might be something to do with the shadows. They seem to be present literally everywhere on the models, building, like assuming to give off some kind of realistic setting. This is also releasing as an early access, which is also a weird situation because you literally have a lab for that unless we're starting early this integration bullshit with the promise of upgrades later on along the line but if the initial project will be looking like that there's little hope really and it relies solely on the popularity of the show something is also wrong with the special effects and animations for the art style used, they don't really blend themselves in comparison to everything else. If it's with the blood, cuts and decapitation, it's just not cohesive at all. Mechanics wise, that might be like the easiest part because we are already familiar with the swinging motion. It's gonna be essentially the case where it places in between the resists, swarms and stuff. In general it's just so weird because the execution of the base concept is very easy, like you have the product, tools and how everything should work literally on the silver plate, but you're wrapping it with bad graphics like covering some mistakes? I just don't know how it's gonna go. The gameplay will essentially unveil every doubt that we have here. For now it's just so bare bones that I've not seen anything like that in the history of my channel. <laughs> Let's go save the humanity. Okay, so some kind of story but without voice. I mean, I'll try to remember what I missed. I did not see Armored one though, I think. Ah, oh, well, that was fast. I guess not to spoil the whole anime. <laughs> Wait, well, it doesn't look the worst actually. Somehow the trailer is the bad part here, which I don't know how that works. 
Uh, should have listened to the tutorial. Oh my god. But the resolution isn't the craziest. Neither are the body textures. Stop it! What the? Don't touch me! Ew! What the hell is happening with the performance though? Frames are just skipping. High five! Pay attention. No, oh, Levi, okay. This is the part where you explain to me exactly what it is I'm looking at. Well, the mother was fine. You're finally up. You suffered a slight concussion, but you're otherwise okay. Those are like original designs. Listen closely. I'm going to explain what's going on. We don't have much time. The Colossal Titan suddenly appeared, destroyed the outer gate, then vanished soon after. Just like last time. Throngs of Titans invaded the city. The Titans are coming. Your ODM gear is ready to use. We need to get to our base, stat. Yeah, but I would like to adjust the smooth turning if possible. Oh my god, the blackouts. Yeah, I mean, this is very easy to control. What game was similar with the mechanics? I think Resist is the close one. This, I think, will be pretty fun. Right, because they break. Blades are useless now. Switch them out for new ones. Yeah, the neck. <laughs> Can we like 
swing to the sides and stuff. They're like dashes. And it reloads over time. Yeah, pretty intuitive. Jesus. <laughs> They are pretty short. That works. There is a lot of stuff going on, surprisingly. I might be just sticking with the air dashes though. I did not appreciate that slow motion though. It really breaks my dynamic. Or maybe not. Like it activates at the proximity. Thank goodness you made it. This is the current situation. As you know, the outer gate was destroyed and Titans have invaded the city. Thanks to Captain Levi and Mikasa, the Titans didn't make it to the inner gate. Had they made it, it would have meant the end of humanity. Our numbers are limited since Commander Ervin and Section Commander Hanji have taken the main force of the Scout Regiment to the interior. A messenger has been dispatched. Once Commander Ervin hears about this, he should bring the main forces here. It's up to us to protect the city until reinforcements arrive. That's our victory condition. Dental is actually horrible. Our supplies are scarce, so we must secure weapons, gas, and other essentials. There should be supplies scattered around the district. We have to retrieve all that we can. The central supply depot is of utmost importance. If we can hold it, we should be able to secure a significant quantity of supplies. You have your orders. Get to the front line. Hey, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Teamwork means we each focus on a specific task. It's that simple. So there's going to be different assortiment. I would like longer blades though. <laughs> like that's a huge difference. Oh my god. Okay, let's just start the game pretty much. Titans closing in. We need to take them all down. Oh, there's going to be some cooperation. Okay, let's see how this works in action. The performance is really dropping. Ah, they're like jump boosts.
I was checking the options and there is no smooth turning, so that's kind of weird. Especially that on the ground, you just move normally. Not impressed. All things considered, that went pretty well. Time to get ready for the next mission. The only ones that can protect this town. Do we have a map or something? I do appreciate the movement. When you are in control of it, then let's head over that way. Then it's pretty nice. <sighs> I'm just glad it went well. Titan's closing in. We need to take them all down. My god, the frames. Nice work. It's also that you can't execute attacks in multiple occasions. Like only two times max. Nice move. Keep it up. Okay. That was kind of interesting, not gonna lie. What skill? You're just like Mikasa, or the captain! There are definitely certain tactics that are easier to execute instead of just flying around, but... Surprisingly, I dig it. <laughs> hey, Mickey! <laughs> you look older, though. <laughs> I think, in terms of the gameplay, this is going to be a safe bet that you'll enjoy it if you are a fan of the show. If not, I think as well, because with the swinging games, we always had shooters in mind, but not necessarily anything that's close quarters. And you could really pull off some cool stunts to kill everyone around. The graphics are definitely subpar, but not the worst. So like the trailer was very badly done pretty much. Disregard this one though, cause this is like an overlay of 360 of some sort. However, the resolution needs to be definitely upgraded because the models themselves are high quality. So if there will be like more clear to see, then everything would just take up it a notch. I dig the mechanics, maybe some variety in the options cause you have smooth locomotion in general, but not turning, which is a weird situation. And with the ODM, it's a matter of getting used to because... There's no time to relax. The system is a little bit different from all the others. I think this has a future. It's just a weird case scenario that it released as an early access. I don't know how much content there is available, but for five bucks... I don't mind it at all.